Christmas line, fasten your safety belt, it's going to be a bumpy night. And from All About Eve, I think I know All About Eve, I shut my eyes, I can say the whole script. She's one of the most honored actresses of our time, and for my money, I think she's one of the she is the greatest film actress of them all. I mean, she's just incredible. Her latest book, This and That, I took to New York. I couldn't stop reading it. It's insightful. It's riveting. It tells anecdotes about her time and life in Hollywood. It tells about her recovery from a vasectomy and a stroke. It's just wonderful. Please help me welcome a two-time Oscar winner, the legendary Betty Davis. <laughs> First of all, you're tiny. I'm tiny? You're about five, two. I've I'm... always been like this. <laughs> I've I... always been like this. You're rather insinuating that as you get older, you shrivel? No, no. <laughs> but, but I want to tell you, that is the truth. Supposedly, you shrivel. So maybe I have, and you're noticing it. No, no, no. <laughs> I just don't. Uh... On the screen, I always thought of you as tall. Well, the screen does make one look larger, really, because you sort of see us from the waist up mostly, you know? And it also... And then I've played a lot of very towering people. So that has a lot to do with it. But I'm thrilled that you're this size because that's my daughter's height, and she wants to be an actress. That would cheer Good. her up immensely. Uh -huh. Now, may I say something before we even start? I watch the Oscars. And I don't know what all the fuss was because you had manners. You did something which was absolutely right. You explained who the gentleman was that came to accept the speech and you gave his credits. And I said, that is wonderful. What is all this brouhaha well, about? I, uh, I really hoped you'd bring up this subject tonight. <laughs> So I prepared my answer. And, and, and also, I am quoting from the interview that was given about my appearance on the Oscars, and I wanted to say it really exactly as they said it. So, all right. An interview was given by an Academy member to the Associated Press, which is published the world over. The Academy member explains Davis's awkward presentation of the Best Actor Award to Newman. Davis was speaking too slowly. <laughs> I've spent my life to learn to speak slowly. <laughs> Oh. You would teach me to speak so, slowly. <laughs> Oscar show director Marty Passetta shut off her microphone. And they did. The interview said Passetta was faced with a time problem. Also said, I got off the track a bit. <laughs> <laughs> the track a bit as Betty does from time to time. It seems that Mr. Passetta feels I never recovered from my stroke. The interview also said I was a wonderful lady, but that I rambled on and got off cue. These are all quotes in, in an interview. It further said, it's a live show, and there are no retakes. Yes, indeed, it said that. <laughs> yeah. Passetta later on in the show cut off my mic again. 
Entertainment Tonight said that I was so angry I would never do another Oscar show. That is not true. But I would want to change the director. No doubt. <laughs> and, yeah, there it all is. There it all is in, in, in the Hollywood Reporter. But you know... I have to finish by saying it was a lovely evening. <laughs> things in the book that are wonderful um and i, I want to bring Catherine on who has been uh such a i uh, not a comfort but such a good friend to you but first i want to ask you before well, we she start. was my my assistant for eight years prior to prior to working on the book yes and was really there for you in the hospital yeah oh yes she, terrible most yeah. she most certainly was the whole eight or nine weeks wasn't um or wasn't it amazing to you that someone that is not a relative, a friend comes into the breach and becomes so close to you at a time like well, this. Well, we hadn't known each other for many, many years, you see, already. And I was indeed fortunate that she was what she was. She, so we must get her on yes, and not just talk bring, behind no, her right. back. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to introduce the young lady that was your secretary, assistant. She was assistant, right, eight years, right. Eight. And eight years came to the hospital, stayed with you, took care of the no, nurses, she, the doctors. She was with me for eight years and, and also at that time stayed at the hospital every week, week, week. Incredible. It's all in the book and she's an incredible woman. She, uh, the book has been dedicated to her. Would you please help me welcome Miss Catherine Cermak. <laughs> Now, here is Catherine, a good friend yes, uh, for nine years, well, ten years. Yes, yes, but uh, more than a friend. W without her, really, this book would never, never have been finished. What a help, really. And uh, I dedicated the book to Catherine, and I can't say it better again than I said it in the book, what I feel about her contribution to this book. Dear Kath, I dedicate this book to you as without your help in writing it, it might never have been finished. To say nothing about the fact that you helped me get through a great part of its contents. Who knows? Your enjoyment working on my book might be a, a possible possibility for things to come in your life. Oh, Cass. Oh, you know my thanks. Love, Miss D. I shall <laughs>